adjustments. Once the bike is complete, it is important to adjust the chain tensioner to make sure it lines the chain center with the sprocket teeth. Pull in the clutch lever and roll the bike while keeping an eye on the location of the teeth in relation to the chain. If the teeth start coming very close to or start bumping into the edge of the chain, stop the bike, loosen the chain tensioner bolt slightly, and turn it in the direction that realigns it to center. Tighten the tensioner bolts about 70% and continue to roll the bike while checking for chain alignment. Repeat adjustment process as necessary. Once alignment is found, tighten tensioner bolts evenly and fully. If the chain tension becomes slack while rolling the bike, stop and loosen the chain tensioner bolts. Slide tensioner toward the rear wheel until the slack is taken away. Retighten tensioner bolts. Check and adjust for chain alignment. Double check the bike to make sure everything is secure including the front and rear wheels, front and rear motor mounts, chain tensioner bolts and pulley wheel, coaster brake screw, all fender screw mounts, handlebar and seat post, brakes, spark plug, carburetor connections, exhaust nuts, brake and clutch levers, gas tank mounts. Make sure that the tires are inflated to their appropriate air pressure. When you are ready to test your motorized bicycle, it's important to go on first make sure that you double check all your uh, components to make sure that they're tight. Your front wheel, your rear wheel, make sure that your motor is properly tightened, fastened down to the bike frame. After you go and check to make sure everything is fastened, then you should try getting on the bike and riding it without it being motorized. Make sure the clutch is pulled in so that you can freewheel and ride it normally. But try riding the bike first to make sure that it is smooth, the chain is riding in line, and not going to go and derail. Next video, part 15, fuel preparation and first start.